check it out. I got hit. That's my car. I was going through this light. And this car here came flying through a red light, hit me, knocked me into that car. And then, you know, this girl hit a fire hydrant. So, good times. Hey everybody, um, thought I would make this video just to uh, <clears throat> kind of update everybody on, as I made the post earlier, but I got in a car accident uh, today and uh, just thought I would make a video and let everybody know what happened and all that. Um, so <laughs> I told Nay I blame her for this. She texted me. She's in Long Island right now uh, visiting family. And she said, oh, my God, McDonald's has a new strawberry shortcake McFlurry. And I was like, hmm, I could go for a treat right now. So I jump in the car and I heading to McDonald's. So this is this is what happened. So I'm pulling up to the light. It's red. And there's this big truck waiting to turn right. So I pull up kind of here. He's kind of blocking the, the, the lane. So I pull up a little bit behind him. And there was plenty of opportunities for him to turn. And I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing? So I'm like, go. You know, we go already. And, the, and he's one of those people, you know, he's one of those people that won't do anything until the light turns green. Clearly, you have the right of way. You clearly can turn, but for whatever reason, this guy in his ginormous truck blocking the lane is waiting until the light turns green. Light turns green, and he turns. Then I go out in the intersection. Now, traffic going this way, you know, was already stopped. I'm going across the intersection. Did not see this coming. To not hear it coming, heard no brake screech. All I heard was bam. So lights green, and I would say there was a good four seconds of green light before impact. Light turns green. One, two, three, four. So it wasn't like this person was trying to make the light. This person clearly ran a red light. Fortunately, hit me here in the like front uh, passenger side wheel which then threw me this way she went this way i rolled into another car waiting over here to, to make a turn and she went off over a curb and into a fire hydrant and water and all that stuff made it much more exciting airbag deployed that was a crazy thing because i did not see it coming at all I'm just casually going through the intersection. Boom, impact, airbag, can't see anything, you know. And I wish I could have had the presence of mind to hit my brakes or I probably wouldn't have rolled into that lady. I, I don't know if the brakes would have worked because the car went dead. Um, but like as the airbag, you know, deflated, I was able to see. I was, you know, hit about to hit a car, which, you know, I rolled into her. Her her damage was minor, um, but still, you know, sucks. Your car got hit and you have a dent and now you're going to have to get it fixed. So I get out of the car and look at the lady that I rolled. I'm, I'm trying to call 911. And my phone is connecting to the Bluetooth in my phone, even though my car is off. Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to disconnect that. And I call 911. I said, there's been an accident. Is there anybody injured? But I said, I don't know. I said, it just happened. Um, I said where it was. And then I looked at the lady I rolled into and I said, are you, you know, you okay? And she's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. And I look over and I see the girl is already out of the car that... 
I don't know how she climbed out because I didn't see, but I mean, this car was sitting on a fire hydrant and water is just engulf this thing. I mean, I'm assuming the inside of the car is flooded, uh, but she looked like she was probably 19, 20. And I walked and she's standing over on the sidewalk, walk, walk over to her. And I said, are you OK? And she said, yeah, what happened? And I said, you ran a red light. And she goes, no, I didn't. It was green. And I was like, uh, <laughs> you clearly ran a red light. I was stopped at a red light. It turned green. And then I proceeded through the intersection and you hit me. You clearly ran a red light. And she's like, no, I didn't. I'm like, OK, I guess we're done talking. So uh, I proceeded to go across the street and uh, hung out with the lady I ran into. She saw me at the stoplight. And she was about to turn and she saw the girl coming. And that's why she didn't pull out because she saw her flying towards her. And then, you know, I, I got hit. And then, and she was like, damn, if I had just, she goes, maybe if I had turned and not waited for that car, I might not have got hit. And I was like, I don't know. You know, you, she might've hit you. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty intense, man. I mean, I had I, if I had to guess just based on the impact and, you know, I, I would say she had to been going like 50 miles an hour. I'm just grateful I got hit in the wheel and not the center of my car, which could have flipped it or could have definitely injured me more. I feel um, I know everybody's saying you, you go to a chiropractor, you need to do this. I'll go to the doctor. I, I'm I'm definitely sore my neck, my arm, my back. I have some I have soreness. Um, I think I'll assess it a little more tomorrow when I wake up. I'll go to my chiropractor and have him take a look at me. But yeah, it was intense. It was it was intense, and uh, and then to add insult to injury, you know, I I was talking to Nay the whole time, so I was there like an hour and a half with the cops and then, you know, dealing with the paperwork and all this crap. And in that time, she went to McDonald's and got the McFlurry and said, yeah, I tried it. It's garbage. I'm like, and I'm literally standing in front of a McDonald's now because the McDonald's is on the corner right where this happened. So I went around and I'm checking with all the businesses and the houses to see if, uh, if they had cameras that actually, you know, you could see the intersection a, because I'd love to just see it. I'd love to see the accident. You know, you go through something like that. It'd be great to have on video. And just for the proof that she clearly ran the, the red light, not that we really don't need it. Cause I have a witness who saw the whole thing. And, uh, you know, so that girl can say whatever she wants. It's not going to fly. Cause you got two people whose stories match up and one who, you know, um, but uh, there is one business. There was a bank there. I didn't see any cameras on the outside, but I'm going to go check with that bank tomorrow because they were closed uh, or they were just closing when the accident happened. Uh, so I'll go see if they if there's any chance they might have cameras. But what a bummer, man. What a bummer. I will say this. Uh, I commend Jaguar on their design because... I got hit violently and hard, and I didn't get a scratch. You look at the front end of her car versus the damage on mine. Significant difference. Um, I mean, they're both probably totaled. I don't know. hers. I don't know. Maybe hers could be salvaged. Mine's probably screwed because of the wheel and I think it broke the axle and there was fluid all over the ground. And, um, I talked to my dad about it afterwards, who is a mechanic, uh, his lifelong cars are his world. And he said, the airbags deployed. And I said, yeah. And he said, it's totaled. And I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, he goes 99% of the times, if your airbags deploy, your car is screwed. I was like, Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll find out. But anyhow, I lived, uh, which is, which is the good news. 
I will say that, you know, in that moment when it happened and there was this moment there where, you know, you couldn't see, you have the white powder from the airbag and the airbag hitting you and disorientation. And in that moment, I stopped to think, oh my God, is my body okay? That was like the first thing as I was wearing flip-flops too, no socks. I'm wearing, you know, I'm wearing sandals and I was just so grateful that like my legs, cause I, I, I could see the top of my body and I'm looking around and I'm like, you know, cause your adrenaline is pumping so hard. You know, you hear about that all the time. You could have like something sticking through your body and you don't even notice it because your adrenaline is so, you know, jacked up. And, um, I was just kind of looking around and then I'm like, okay, should I try getting out of the car? And this is the big test. I'm getting out of the car. Can I walk? Am I going to suddenly fall? Am I going to, you know, all this stuff it goes through your head, man. And it was a scary moment. It was definitely a scary moment. And then you just start thinking about all these things like, well, wow, what if I was killed? And how would Nay find out? And how would my parents find out? Who would tell them? I'm alone right now. Nay's in New York visiting her family and who would feed the dogs? You know, you start thinking all these crazy thoughts and it's, uh, you know, sobering, man. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it wakes you up to a lot of things, man. You know, you gotta be, be careful. Um, be mindful. People are fucking stupid people. I mean, I have no doubt in my mind she was probably texting, looking at her phone and blew right. I don't think she, she, it was such a delayed through that red light. Like I said, a good four second count, at least before impact that I don't think she was trying to blow through the red light. I think she was looking down and looked up and she was already committed. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I did not hear breaks. It was just bam. And it, man, it, that was talk about a thunderclap, man. That was, that was intense. That was, that was intense talking to the woman that I, I hit that I rolled into, you know, she was, she started telling me a story about, you know, as we were saying, yeah, I'm sure this girl was just not paying attention. And, and she she told me a story that she lost her 24 year old son less than two years ago in a car accident that he was on a motorcycle and somebody didn't wasn't looking wasn't paying attention and hit him and killed him and man i mean just listening to her tell that story and what we were dealing with and just life is short and i'm not trying to get all you know ugh sympathy here or, 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 you know, cry or whatever. It's just, it's like, wow, you know, cherish what you got. Cause in a blink of an eye, you can be gone. I mean, it's crazy to think I could have been killed and I would have not, I would not have even known it happened. You know what I mean? Like I did not hear or see that coming at all. That's how fast it happened. And uh, wow, it's just keep your head on a swivel, people, especially nowadays with people texting. It don't matter. You know, you just got to be careful. It, all it takes is a few seconds. They look down and it, it can it can be that fast. And uh, I know I shoot, I, I drove Nay's car to grab some dinner. Um, I just got back and at first, you know, I wasn't even th thinking about it. You know, you drive every day, you don't think about it. And I got in the car and as I pulled away from my driveway, I had a little PTSD, man. I, 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 I was like a little tense, like looking around. I don't want that to happen to me again. And I can tell you what, man, 
I'm definitely going to pay more attention to everything. I mean, I'm one of these guys that always look when, when I'm turning, I look both ways, but I would, like I said, I was halfway through an intersection on a green light, had no reason to have to look over there to that traffic. You know, it, it, it wasn't a natural, like, Oh, I need to check this way. When you're pulling out, you're always checking the first cars that could hit you. So you're looking at the cars coming from your left. That's what I'm always looking for first. So I was literally like looking that way, you know, then looking forward, going through this intersection, and I'm getting hit by the one coming from the right, the furthest away, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> It was crazy. And uh, as you be able to see in this footage I shot, it was kind of wild, man. It was uh, uh, Nathan. I sent Nate, my buddy Nate, the uh, footage. And he goes, dude, that looks like a movie set. Like, you know, that looks like something because <laughs> the water's going and everything. Um, and I want to say this. I, I posted that little the little clip on Instagram. And I want to say thank you to everybody who responded. I didn't expect... I didn't expect that big of a response. You know, I'm glad you're okay and blah, 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 blah. I have to admit, I, I'm scrolling through them and I'm just like, wow, wow. And I got the Jamie Lee Curtis commented in caps, fuck. <laughs> it made me laugh. I was like, I appreciate that, Jamie. That was, that was, uh, that was funny. That made me laugh. Everybody else say, I hope you're okay. Oh my God. And then just fuck. <laughs> I like that one. Just want to say thanks to everybody that reached out and uh, appreciate it. And hopefully I don't die in my sleep uh, tonight uh, from internal injuries. And uh, yep. So. Wow. What a day. Guess I'm going to go car shopping. Maybe I'll, my, I'll do my follow up video of me uh, looking for a new ride because I can tell you right now, like the, the tow truck driver guy said, I think this is totaled. But if it's salv salvageable, he's all, it's going to take a while. <laughs> so uh, it might be time to go shopping. Anyway, good to be breathing. Well, I just got hit. Look at this. Unbelievable. It'd be fun, though, to watch them pull that car. Did they pull it off yet? See that. This is gonna be fun. There goes my car. It was a good car. It gave me love and protection. I will say the Jaguar definitely can take a hit. Cause she is flying. There's a good no ant area over here. <laughs> yeah, like right in these middle spots. Yeah. Some serious ant problem down here that's crawling all over us. So. Towed, towed away, and now they, they got the water shut off. 
this is the car that hit me. I'm kind of curious to see the front of it, see how bad the front is. This is what tried to kill me. Oh well. I lived. You can't kill me. 